is Kalila here and welcome to another video, okay? Another vlog. This week, I am just going to be mainly working on one thing and one thing only. Sorry. Had. You know, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but this happens to me and my siblings all the time. We'll say something and it will trigger either like a song or a movie or a show and just like we just have to sing it or say it and yeah, that just happened. Anyway, hey, oh my gosh, today I'm wearing my weekend hat that I finished in last week's vlog. <laughs> It's so nice. Okay, this is literally the type of beanie that I want to make all the time. All the time, okay? All the time. But I'm not working on another one. I was going to work on my socks, but the moment... <laughs> that was the plan. I was going to work on my socks. The moment I touched my socks, I took off my needle stoppers and I went to knit the one stitch. I couldn't. I couldn't. I I literally had no motivation to do it. I just I was just like, ugh, ugh. I don't feel like doing this. So you know what I did? I cast it on the Louvre sweater. Yes, yes, I did. I've talked about it before. I'm using two strands of drops boucle yarn, alpaca boucle. I definitely could have gone with one strand. So. A single strand of it is thin to me. It is an Aran weight yarn, but because it's so curly, you know, like it's super, super curly. And I was like, mm, I need it to be thicker, okay? So sorry, the light changes all the time. So I'm double stranding it and this is how thick it is. Nice, nice, beautiful. And, and I'm not struggling with it like I thought I would. I thought I was going to have a very hard time knitting this because sometimes the needle can go through one of the curls instead of the actual loop on the needle. And that would be very annoying. It does happen sometimes. But now that I am on just stockinette part, it's so perfect. Okay. So here it is. This is going to be a very big sweater. I'm just going to start by saying that because look at how wide the collar is already. It's like, okay, it doesn't, <laughs> okay. It doesn't look that wide right now, but okay, if you know how sweaters are, the collar is not usually this wide to start with, okay? But I don't care, all right? I want this to be a giant cozy hug and it will be. And I can't wait, I'm making a size medium. As you can see, I have finished the German short rows because, you know, the front is, the back is lower than the front, which keeps the, the neck, like, even, you know? No. Okay, I don't know how to explain that. But anyway, it not even. It makes the front drop a little lower than the back, so it's not the same front and back. Like, the, the front and the back aren't at the same level whatever. Anyway, I finished the German short rows. That was the most annoying part because I had to purl and purling with this yarn. Oh, horrendous. Okay. It's not difficult. It's just annoying. So anyway, you can barely tell the difference between a ribbing and the stockinette. Let's go to the back. I mean, you can tell the difference, obviously. But this is what it looks like. You see no stitches at all with the stockinette part, which is cool, honestly. And yeah, I'm just very excited to get to to finish the raglan. I'm on the raglan section now. So just doing increases to make the yoke bigger before I get to the body. And I'm ready to get to the body because I love doing the body. I love doing the body. I Because especially when you can see the distance between right at the underarm and then 
to however many centimeters you've done. Oh my gosh, it just makes me so happy and it gives me so much motivation. Anyway, I started the video today. I was supposed to start it like five days ago, but I didn't feel like it. And I was like, you know what? Let me get a little bit done before I start the video. So I'm glad I have something to show you guys. And tomorrow, my family and I are going to hike to the Hollywood sign. Remember when we did that two years ago? Oh my God, it was 2021. Oh my gosh. And I had red hair. Oh my gosh, hello? Anyway, we're going to hike to the Hollywood sign tomorrow. I am gonna bring this project because it's just plain stockinette, so, so easy. I will show you the knitting bag that I got. It's like a literal hiking bag, but for like knitting and crochet, there's slots to put crochet hooks and needles and everything. I'm just like, oh, perfect. There are holes on the side so I can pull out my yarn through the, it's perfect. Anyway, that's all that I have for this very long intro. I will get to knitting and will I show myself knitting? Maybe. Maybe I will right after. Or maybe I'll just jump cut right to tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m. Oh, wait, I don't know what time I'm waking up. Oof, I gotta ask that. Anyway, goodbye for now. day and I just woke up like what time is it? I woke up 19 minutes ago okay you can't even see it's 5 19 a.m. oh I'm tired mm. okay good enough whatever it's 5 19 a.m. and just getting ready for the hike this is what I'm wearing these cargo thingies that are my dad's some hiking socks this cargo shirt thingy that's my dad's or my brother's one of them this men's clothing and a tank top because i'm not wearing a regular shirt under this absolutely not i'm also gonna walk with this jacket it's like well i got it for hiking when i went to the grand canyon so it's very much so like hiking proof or whatever it's a columbia jacket and it's like nice and smooth and inside is very mm, like rainproof on the outside whatever anyway this is the crochet slash knitting bag that I was telling you guys about and it has like a bunch of pockets for putting needles and stuff inside except I'm not using those slots so I don't, I don't care about all that but what's in this bag is a chair a chair yes a chair to sit when I go up there and start knitting and pause and stuff. A bag of hiking snacks with jerky, okay. Gotta have the beef jerky. I'm gonna get water later when I go downstairs. Sit this part up. Okay, let's not mess this up before the hike. Okay. Wow, this zips all the way down here. What the heck? Sorry, I have to have it. Ollie, Ollie, Ollie. Okay. 
And also, remember the holes that I was telling you guys about yesterday? They're right here. And you just put your yarn through it. So when this is on your back, you could just knit or crochet without having to like open up a slot at the top and try to pull your yarn through. It's just on this side and on that side. Very cool. The next pocket has my project in it. I am almost done with my yarn. Okay, it also has my notions pouch. And since I have this much yarn left, I do have two extra balls in here. We'll see how much knitting I get done on this trip. I'm mainly gonna be listening to an audiobook. That's Kahila. I'm mainly gonna be hey. listening <laughs> to an audiobook. An Akatar graphic audiobook. So, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so good. that that's gonna be a talk for another day. And then in this little pocket here, I have my phone charger, my ID, well my wallet basically, my keys. An extra battery for this camera, which I'm only bringing one. I'm not even charging the one that's in the camera because I'm not doing like a long vlog on this, you know. And extra earphones just in case my AirPods die. You know, I gotta be prepared. Prepared. I cannot be headphoneless on that hiking trail, okay? It's a whole mountain, all right? So. Oh no, I need to put this back. <laughs> I was buttoning this up and it's not even ready to be done. Okay, hold on, hold on, switch over project. Okay, anything else that I need? I can bring my glasses cloth cleaner. And button this up together. I'm glad I did this because now I know that I'm really not missing anything. I just need to grab water, put them on the sides. And now I'll be good and dandy. Alrighty. That is all for this little, hey, what are you taking on the hike? Is this part of a vlog already? Yeah. Oh, good. Nice, yeah. Mm, it's part of my weekly vlog, so. Yeah, I'm so tired. I'm not tired as in, oh my gosh, I'm exhausted and I need more sleep. I'm tired as in, bro, I want to keep sleeping. Yeah, anyway, that's it. Before I lose time. Magic. Sorry if you see our nipples, it's cold. <laughs> it's natural. It's natural. <laughs> For my shoes, <laughs> mine are better. Look at that, sixty three. Mm -hmm. Come on, this will add the dust, and also it's blue on the inside. So, okay, this is not blue. It's like Cleo. Yeah, it's close to yeah. blue. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is. It is. Feel of the hike. Hey guys, this hike. It's not even that bad. There's Kahila and Malika. Kahila and Malika. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this is my first time filming because the beginning of this trail is crazy. Okay? Crazy. And I'm walking backwards because the sun is right here. Yeah, I have not filmed, bruh. You didn't even start. No, wait, this I is didn't your even. It's my. Home? Yep. From home <laughs> to right now. We are almost to the sign. You think I'm going to pull out this camera when I'm huffing and yeah. puffing? Road. Absolutely so, not. Okay. But here is here are our nice shoes because someone's coming and I'm not trying to film them. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the feet montage for a second. Morning. Okay. Now look at this beautiful view. I don't even know if you can tell anything from here. To be honest, when we get to right there, I'll show you guys more. Look at this beauty here. Let me lower this down. 
I don't even know if you can see. Anyway, it looks good from here. <laughs> almost there guys we just have to go right up here and we'll be there oh okay i didn't know there was a steep drop like that okay never mind i just have to turn a corner look it's right there looky looky there is a way to go behind there but we won't be able to see the actual words so this is the highest we can go and my dad already made it. He's right there sitting down. Let me zoom in. Hey, I'm tired. That's right. Oh, I got move. <laughs> right there. Malika's head keeps blocking it. <laughs> what the freak is that, Malika? I'm so all over the place. We're finally back in a vehicle. I am not sore. Like I don't feel any tightness or any cramping or any anything. I'm glad we did a few days of walking before we did this trail so that my body could get used to walking a little bit. But no, we're about to be on the way home. There will probably be a lot of traffic. It'll probably take a lot longer to get home now because it's like, what time is it? It is 10.30 in the morning, which means there'll be traffic, but that's fine. It also took us two hours and we walked like 11 kilometers, which is probably like six, five miles. Five miles. Okay. Five miles. See, I was close. 5.2 miles. So that's great. Anyway, goodbye. I said 11 kilometers. It was eight point four nine kilometers my bad i had to correct that also i'm finally eating one of my thingy majiggers because it's it's good anyway yeah that's what i wanted to say goodbye Hey, Bundy. podcast I said I was gonna finish my louvre sweater and then my socks and the literal same day I started working on my socks and the next day finished them <laughs> but I'm glad I'm glad okay I'm gonna go back to my louvre now so yeah oh my gosh should I end this video another day another day
second. Hello, guys. So, I've decided that I am not going to continue my Louvre sweater. Oh my god, I know. Again, me starting the sweater at the beginning of the year and not finishing it until the end of the year. It has to go on ice, okay? I thought it's February right now, okay? Middle of winter, right? Or end of winter, whatever. Mid, I'll say middle of winter because the toward the end will be like next week and so, and so, and such. But winter, okay? It's supposed to be cold. Cold, C-O-L-D, cold. But no, it wants to be in the 70s. It wants to be hot in this house. I cannot knit on this Louvre sweater, okay? You guys know what it looks like. It's big, oversized, and fluffy. Fluffy, fluffy. It is too hot. Like, I understand now. Well, okay. It's not too hot to knit on it. I don't want to have a sweater done in the heat. Like, especially since I'm starting to knit seasonally. I understand now why people say they don't want to knit sweaters in the summertime. And it's not even summertime. It's not even spring. And I'm feeling like this. I'm just like, oh my god. But I cannot continue. I cannot. It is too big, too fluffy, too hot to everything. And it's literally annoying me. And I don't want to be annoyed while knitting. So I... I'm going to work on my Cargill sweater, which is a very light sweater. If it's DK weight, that's fine. This thing is basically chunky because I'm double stranding two Aran weight yarns. But yeah, I'm gonna work on my Cargill sweater, which I have put on ice for some months now, but I'm excited to get started on it again especially like the collar and the sleeves because I only have the sleeves and the collar left to do because I finished the body and it's small enough to go by very quickly. I'm very excited. So that's what I'm going to work on. I'll probably do the collar in this video and then end the video off because I think I can finish the collar in a few hours probably if I consistently work on it. So I'm going to do that. Okay, okay. the sleeve of this project. I didn't get that far. I just did a few rounds just to see the the patterning and how I would incorporate the new stitches and everything and you know it's going fine. There's a part in the back that's just gonna be like plain stockinette type because it doesn't fit with the patterning, but I don't care. It's in the back. But I did finish the collar. Hold on. Is that in the back? Yeah, it's in the back. But this is the front. And this is the collar part. This was so much fun. I forgot how to bind off because when you do a collar like this, you're supposed to... Wait, this is the front. When you do a collar like this, when, you know, you pick it up and then knit, you're supposed to knit down. And if you want to do like, okay, let me explain. If you want to do a collar that's like folded and you know, when you start a pattern with a folded collar, you can either knit it together or you can sew it after. I didn't want to sew it after because I don't like doing that and so I had to pick up the stitches and then knit them and then while I bind off I had to also wait wait 
I'm confused. No, while I knit down, I had to bind off at the same time. Oh my gosh, why is my brain just glitching right now? Well, I just woke up, so that's why. Anyway, that's what I had to do and I forgot and so I just guessed and I ended up doing it correctly anyway. And so that's the inside of it. So I didn't have to sew it down. I just bound off on the picked up edge of the stitch. And it's so great. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. It's so small. I'm like, oh my gosh, true to size. Uh, sorry, very aggressive. I just don't like true to size stuff. Anyway, I say this, I'm saying all of this just to literally say I am, this is where I'm stopping in this video. In my next vlog, which I already started, I will continue it because I'm going on a road trip with my family and I'm going to bring this project. Will I work on it? I don't know because I started another project, which is a beanie, and I started this for the trip. And you guys know I've wanted to start a beanie for a while now. Another one. So that's what's going to happen. But I'm going to bring both projects and we'll see. Why am I talking about this in this video? Oh my gosh. You guys will literally see this in next week's video. Anyway, that's all that I have for this video. If you heard that, that was Malika yelling as usual. Oh, she's singing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so that you always get a notification when I post another one. Oh my gosh. I feel like I haven't said that in a while. And what else? Let me know what you guys are working, were working on while you watched this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.